It has been the hardest of years Kate's dazzling and emotional tribute video to hero nurses. Kate shared a video message dedicated to nurses around the world as Nursing Now Global Footprints, a series of initiatives celebrating the work done by Nursing Now over the past three years and what the future holds for these professionals, was coming to an end. In her touching speech, the Duchess of Cambridge highlighted just how critical nurses have been in tackling the coronavirus pandemic. She said, when Nursing Now was launched in 2018, we had no way of knowing just how much the work, dedication and infinite care of nurses would be tested, needed and appreciated. COVID-19 has highlighted the vital role that nurses provide which we all rely on and it's made all the more extraordinary when we consider the huge sacrifices and personal demands that have been placed on all of you by the pandemic. It has been the hardest of years and my heartfelt thanks to you and your colleagues around the world for the incredible work you do every day. In 2018, Kate launched Nursing Now a three-year-long initiative that aimed at raising the profile of nurses around the world. As nursing now comes to an end, the world is experiencing a shortage of 10 million nurses, according to the initiative's website. Lord Nigel Crisp, nursing now founder and former CEO of the NHS, said, Health services around the world have responded magnificently to the pandemic, but we will not beat COVID-19, stop the next pandemic or tackle skyrocketing rates of diabetes or heart disease, unless we help nurses to work at their full potential. Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, Director General of the World Health Organization, WHO, which partners in the campaign, said, the Nursing Now campaign has pushed countries towards action, developed a new generation of leaders in nurses, and increased the influence of nursing in health systems across the world. As the campaign comes to an end, I urge countries to invest in nurses, so they are supported, protected, motivated, and equipped to deliver safe care. Annette Kennedy, president of the International Council of Nurses, ICN, said, alongside the WHO, ICN has been a proud partner of the most successful global nursing campaign the world has seen. Nursing now has energized the profession changed public perceptions and demonstrated clearly to political leaders that nursing is the solution to affordable, accessible and high-quality health care. It is a profession the world simply cannot afford not to invest in. The Nursing Now groups have been working with ICN and WHO to develop the next global nursing and midwifery strategy that will be adopted at this week's World Health Assembly. The 74th World Health Assembly will begin today and last until June 1. While nursing now in its original form is ending, the effort to put the spotlight on the work carried out on a daily basis by nurses and midwives will be carried out by the Nightingale Challenge, which in June will be renamed Nursing Now Challenge. This challenge will work with health employers around the world to create leadership development opportunities for 100,000 nurses and midwives in more than 150 countries by the end of 2022. In her video message, Kate wore an Alexander McQueen peplum dress she was last seen wearing during her visit to Warsaw in 2017. The outfit was paired with a 9,000-pound diamond necklace from Esprit and drop earrings. This video was released as Kate prepares to join her husband Prince William in Scotland, where he has been since Friday. Kensington Palace announced during the royal tour of Scotland Kate and William will thank NHS staff and other frontline workers for their continuous efforts. The Cambridges will also visit a series of organizations and charities focused on the environment, mental health, addiction and homelessness. Kate and Prince William have been supporting NHS staff and key workers throughout the pandemic. In April last year, William and Kate said they would make their top priority to support the mental well-being of key workers as they supported the launch of the 24-7 platform Our Frontline. In December last year, during their last visit to Scotland, they were named joint patrons of NHS Charities Together, a federation of over 250 charitable organizations supporting staff volunteers and patients of the NHS. The pair have also visited numerous times either in person or via 